G'day, my name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number five of the fine art of distraction. So with today's episode, we're going huge. We're gonna be doing the 48 inch by 48 inch canvas for my dad's boss. Now, it's a bit of a scary looking beast <laughs> because I mean, here it is, 48 by 48. And I mean, well, I'm sitting on a chair and this is standing up. <laughs> so you can see that it's it's quite big. But just to prove to you, there it is there. What a scary looking beast. But hey, I'm not afraid of it because hey, I mean, I'm a bit of a scary looking beast <laughs> too, but I'm a friendly giant. So I'm gonna treat the canvas as the same. Adds a friendly giant to me, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so you might remember a few weeks ago when I did the practice run for this, where I got to use my open cups. Now these little bad boys, I literally just got these from my local hardware store, Bunnings Warehouse. And all that these are, are plumbers PVC couplers where they join the pipes together. So I didn't spend big bucks on it either. As you can see here, they're only a dollar forty. Now you don't need to spend big bucks like fifteen to twenty dollars on a stainless steel cookie cutter when these do the exact same thing. I mean there are cheaper alternatives, don't get me wrong. I mean you can use a paper cup for example or a plastic cup and literally just cut the bottom off works exactly the same way but i just prefer to use the um the coupler as my open cup um, and all you do at the end is just wash it off and you get to reuse it over and over and over you might also remember in the practice run episode where um, i used squeeze bottles so I used six of these, and these are 250 ml bottles. I didn't fill the paint all the way to the top. I, I filled it up to 225 mils, um, just so when I was shaking the flow troll and the paint together, um, that I had that the paint had room to move and, and actually mix properly. Um, but in saying that, the only color that I used all of the paint from was the gold. And as you can see here, I've still got roughly about 50 mils left of all the other colors. Um, so the squeeze bottles I'll be using today are these ones. These are 500 mil and I'm, I'm going to fill it up to about 400 mil. So um, yeah, so these six bottles at 400 mils each. Um, I got these bottles literally when I first started doing uh, fluid art. I went to Target and Kmart and bought like just cheap paints while I was practicing. Um, and the beauty about buying the cheap paints is you get to keep the bottles at the end and just keep reusing them and reusing them and reusing them. So for 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 a practice run of paint of four ninety five per bottle, I mean you get to keep the bottle at the end. So I mean there's my little. Uh, artist hack. <laughs> Another artist hack actually is you can use sauce bottles. Sauce bottles have the squeezy lid, but also they're squeezy bottles. So yeah, you don't need to spend big bucks on bottles that have the, the numbers on the side. Because I mean, most of the time, it's filled with paint anyway, like so you can't <laughs> you can't see the numbers. So yeah, use what you have around to save a little bit of money. So there's my little hack. <laughs> um, now that I've gone through just what I'm going to be doing today, we'll head over to the table and we'll go through all the products that we're going to be using. So thanks again for joining me on number five, and yeah, let's head over to the table. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then. Well, here's all the colors and the paints that I'm going to be using today and all the other products. Um, you might notice that um, these are slightly different to the practice run. The only difference is 
I'm not using the Arado de Palo um, white. I'm actually using the Global white. Um, I did want to use the, the Global white in the practice run, but I actually ran out. So I have a fresh pot now, so we're ready to rock. So the colors that we've got is black, white, cool blue, turquoise, metallic gold, and metallic blue. The base coat is from Montmartre, and that's titanium white. The base coat and also all of the colors will be mixed with Floetrol, two to one. In this bottle just here, this is actually a, a mixture of um, water with 10% Floetrol. Um, I've got that on hand for if I need to um, thin down any of these um, colors just here. Um, I'm hoping not to need to thin them down, but I will be doing um, the drip test like I did on, on the, um, the practice run, um, just so I've got all the same consistencies. Um, again, we'll be using the open cups. And as you can see there, there's nine of them. In this bottle here, it's just straight water. And the reason I've got this here is the canvas being so big, the, the actual um, canvas itself will start to flex and bend. So a little trick to um, fixing that a little bit is to actually spray the back of the canvas, allow that water to sort of seep in a little bit and then it'll actually um, tighten up. So um, I've also, um, hammered in all the little wedges into the into the corner bits um, that also will tighten up the frame as well so um, yeah being such a big canvas you really do need to make sure that you've you've hammered in your your little wedge pieces nice and tight but then also spray the back of the canvas with water just to to give it that sort of that tension there is about an inch gap in between the actual wooden um, frame to the actual canvas. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna um, fold up some paper and actually put it underneath in the center of the canvas, just so there's another prevention of, of the canvas sort of um, sinking in, because the last thing I want to happen is that all the paint just sort of all slides into the middle and yeah, just becomes a mess in the center. So um, yeah, so there's three ways that I'm gonna sort of try to avoid that paint from sort of um, going into the center. One, I've already said, hammered in the, um, the little wedges. Two, spray the back with water. And then three, um, just put some folded paper in between the actual frame and the canvas itself. You will notice that I've taped off the whole way around the canvas. Because this is actually um, for, for someone, it's not for myself, I want to protect the back of it as much as I can so it looks really nice and, and pristine. So um, I've, I've got um, the frog tape all around the outside and then just normal masking tape on, on the center frame. The frog tape is actually a much, much better tape to use when you're taping off your edges because it actually leaves a nice, sharp, crisp edge. Whereas this much cheaper uh, masking tape, you do get lots of paint that seeps in underneath um, the tape. So when you're, when you're taping the back of a canvas, it's always good to use the, the frog painter's tape. Um, I do have my spatula to sort of spread out the base coat. And then I've also got my little palette knife to sort of do some um, manipulating um, of the actual paintwork itself. But I, I noticed when I pulled this out today that after I used this for the practice run, which you can see in the corner over there, have a look at this. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> it, 
It's like full matches up <laughs> with that over there. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that until I pulled it out today. I, I was like, ew. <laughs> Alrighty. So now that I've gone through all the products that I'll be using, oh, and I've also got the uh, the torch to get rid of any air bubbles um, after I've done the uh, actual um, pour. So now that I've gone through all the products that we're gonna go uh, gonna use, um, then I'll get onto the drip test, and then after the drip test, then we'll get into the actual pour. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're here and we're going to be doing the um, the drip test. So um, as you can see, I've got the, the base, um, M gold stands for metallic gold, M blue stands for metallic blue, black, white, C blue stands for cool blue, and then turquoise. So all we got to do is just drop a little, little bit on there. Alrighty, so as we can see, the turquoise and the black need to be thinned down the most. Need to thin down the cool blue a little bit. But I'm happy with the metallic blue. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to thicken the gold up just a little bit. And also the base just a fraction. Now, I'm actually not going to add um, any more actual colored paint to them. What I'm actually going to use is a little bit of the Torben's Easy Coat in the neutral because this is actually basically what um, like paint stores will actually use as the base to actually make the colors. So they'll you get something like that, which is an untinted um, base paint, and then they'll they will tint that with the color that they want. So um, rather than putting more paint into the actual um, containers, um, I'll be putting the actual, the base of the, what, what paint is made from to basically thicken it up a little bit. So, so I'll be thinning, um, basically these four down and thickening these two up ever so slightly. So then they're the same thickness as this, um, uh, metallic blue. So, um, Give me a couple of minutes and I'll come back and do an, another drip test and uh, fingers crossed that um, what I've done works. Thanks guys. Okay, so we're back for the uh, the second drip test and let's, let's start going with the base first. Just so I've got a, a comparison to work off. Two, 
Oh, much, much, much better. They're not exactly the same, but they're very, very, very close. And you know what? I'm actually happy with that. So, yeah. All right, let's roll with that. So what I actually did was the base and the metallic gold, um, I thickened up with the turbans um, neutral um, easy coat. And then I thinned down um, the black, the white, the cool blue and the turquoise with the water and 10% um, flow troll. Alrighty, so now that I've done that, let's have some fun. You. Alrighty, so uh, here we are, we're on the back of the canvas and as I said, I'm actually gonna give the canvas um, it, itself a bit of a spray with water and, and let that absorb a little bit. So you don't have to go to town on it, just a little spray. And this will help it um, tighten up. So, so as, as it starts to sort of absorb and dry, it'll actually tighten up. So that should be enough. And then, just with a paper towel, just give it a bit of a once over. Because you don't want it saturated. Okay. Alrighty, and as I said, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna um, lightly scrunch up some um, some paper and put it underneath the, the cross beams. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to put the um, the base coat down. So let's start by pouring it around. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so now it's time to place all the, um, the open cups. And what I'll do, I'll sort of place them randomly, but closer to the middle, just so I've got room for the actual paint to sort of spread out. So, I'll get one there. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the gold. Okay, so now we're just going to um, pop some air bubbles. I'll tell you what, I'm liking what I see so far. Yew! So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes. 
and let all the um, the cells sort of um, and the paint percolate and and sort of develop a few more of these awesome looking cells. So I'll be back in five. Well, it'll be like two seconds for you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've let it sit for about five minutes and now I'm just going to do some manipulating just to sort of um, do some patterns within the within the pore. So... Okay, so now it's time to tilt this bad boy out, so let's rock!
Alrighty, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, very happy with this. But <laughs> look how messy my hands are. I forgot to wear gloves, but I don't care because this looks sick. You. All right, guys. I am so happy with this bad boy. <laughs> It is huge. I can barely walk around it. I tell you what, I am so happy with this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just turn this off. Just goes on and on and on. All right, guys, well, um, thank you very much for joining me on this <laughs> mammoth of a uh, project. Um, I'll tell you what, I am one happy camper with this one. Oh, I just hope my dad's boss, Gavin, he likes it as well, because, yeah, it's going in the office. Well, hopefully it's going in his office. <laughs> you! So happy with this guy, so, so, so happy. Alright, thanks again for joining me on another episode of The Fine Art of Distraction. Ah, look at my, look at those hands. <laughs> but, um, yes, thank you very much for joining me on today's episode. As you can hear in my voice, I'm over the moon with how this turned out. So, you! Thanks guys, this is the fine art of distraction.